what's going on you guys welcome welcome back to leaning into luxe you guys are all well so a couple of weeks ago i was watching shayna cole's channel she's one of the youtubers i follow here on this platform and she did a video i think she said her inspiration was from tiktok where there's this trend where people are listing like the five things they splurge on and i was inspired so i was like girl you know what i'm gonna hop on this trend with you and i'm gonna do my own list of like five things that i splurge on let me tell you this was hard oh by the way i will make sure that i link like her video down in the description so that you guys can check her channel out subscribe i really enjoy her content she also did a video similar to what i did discussing the whole wealthy women are buying replicas or counterfeit goods and she honestly covered it in a way that i did not and i really 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 appreciated her take on the whole thing and i'll also make sure that video is also in the description below for those who are interested but without wasting time let's get to my list of five things that i definitely splurge on number one on my list eating out listen i enjoy food okay i enjoy food i love to eat i love to eat out and when i do go out to eat out i really want like a full-on experience i want to go out to like really good restaurants i love to try out different foods i love to try out different cuisines so for me eating out is such an experience and i really enjoy it and i'm pretty sure if you follow me on my instagram you probably would have noticed like outside of fashion content a lot of my content is based around food i love to eat out i love to try out new foods and i also love to drink like good wines so for me going out and eating out is such an experience and i honestly do not mind like spending a little bit in order to get like the best experience when i'm out eating and nowadays a lot of restaurants have really caught up to that you know like they will deliver the good food but they also like make the whole dining out experience an experience and i'm really into that so definitely my number one thing that i love to splurge on eating out the next thing that i definitely love to splurge on is how i travel how i get from a to b is a huge huge thing that is important for me i love to be comfortable when i travel i don't know i feel like you know sometimes if you are traveling especially if you're traveling like a quite a distance and maybe you're traveling and you're in coach or whatever by the time you get to your destination for your vacation i don't want to feel like oh I've already started off with a bad experience or I'm tired from having been uncomfortable on the way here. So traveling and traveling business class is a huge thing for me. Having my champagne handed to me when I get in my seat, I want to have room and I want to be able to recline as much as I want. I want to be able to be laid out on my seat and not have to worry about, you know, the next person feeling like I'm taking over the entire hand rest or anything like that. So absolutely, for me, one of the things that is really important to me is to travel comfortably and I'm willing to splurge a little bit in order to feel more comfortable and be rested by the time I get to my destination. Number three on my list, it has to be shoes, right? And it doesn't necessarily have to be luxury shoes, but as long as it's comfortable shoes, I am willing to spend money on it. I have found over the years that for me, once my feet are uncomfortable, then my entire mood goes out the window. And I find that sometimes people put themselves in the space where they put fashion over comfort. And that's not something I'm willing to compromise on. When it comes to my feet, they need to feel like I'm walking on clouds. I need to feel comfortable. I need to just feel like I can literally walk 10 miles and not feel like my feet are burning so i'm quite happy to spend a pretty penny when it comes to shoes sneakers are like my guilty pleasure because i literally live in them 24 7 and when i'm not wearing sneakers it's sandals so those two get a huge chunk of my money and listen i've made some mistakes in the past i have splurged on other shoes just because they looked cute and i thought that they would work for me and they didn't so nowadays i am a little bit more picky when it comes to the shoes but i'm still willing to spend a little bit more pay premium if a shoe is doing what needs to be done the fourth thing on my list is 
I spend a lot of money on black owned brands and I've done a couple of videos before where I did like hauls of Hanifa and Andrea Yama and different black owned brands and I actually have one that I've been working on that I also am planning to bring to you. And while I have been planning and working on that video, I realized I really spend a lot of money, and I mean a lot of money, on these black owned brands. I remember saying to you guys when I was talking about why I stopped shopping fast fashion and what I learned. And one of the lessons that I said I learned during that video was I find that fast fashion a lot of the time does not cater for certain body types and my body type being one of those, right? And I'm not saying I cannot walk into a Zara or anything and find things that fit me, but I have found while I have been off of fast fashion through this journey that black owned brands tend to have an understanding of body types like mine right and because of that i have found that the clothes that i have purchased from these brands fit my body a lot better than the clothes that i have been buying off of the rack um, through fast fashion and other means i think that comes from the fact that a lot of the brands that i shop are black women owned brands and therefore they have an understanding of you know our curves a lot better i think when people hear black owned brand the assumption is that it is super affordable it's cheap or whatever it is not it is not hanifa is not cheap andre yama not cheap Phenowell, oh my gosh, Phenowell, not cheap. However, I am willing, I'm happy to spend the money on these brands because they dress my body in a way that I don't get the same results when I'm buying other brands or off the rack or anything like that. And also I find the designs to be super unique and very different from what you would find out there. And so it's no brainer for me um, last but not least you guys know this you watch this channel and that's probably why i even started this channel to begin with um my love for handbags that's the number one thing that i probably splurge on the most i love bags i love 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 luxury handbags and i probably will be shopping and buying them forever now just because i splurge on luxury bags it doesn't mean i'm going to buy any and everything that comes my way or any and everything that is trending i'm also very selective with my love of handbags i take my time in deciding what it is that i love i take my time in deciding whether or not this is something that i will probably still want to use in the next three four five years and beyond it's important to me that i make like a solid decision when i make a decision to shop a luxury handbag but once my mind is made up i'm perfectly happy to splurge on a good handbag now with all these crazy price increases that are happening I don't know if I will be willing to still splurge on some of these handbags at the prices that they're selling them at. The jury's still out on that one. Now, I know at the beginning of the year, I did say in my wishlist video that this is the year I'm trying to get my Chanel Classic Flap. And while I am always happy to splurge on a handbag that I love, I also like to be realistic and responsible i think that's the way i like to be responsible with my purchases spending that much on a handbag seems pretty for me i'm not speaking for anybody else i'm speaking about myself and my circumstances right the cost of the chanel's is just way out of control so even though it's one of like my ultimate dream bags i don't think that i'm willing to splurge on new chanel if i end up purchasing a chanel it probably will be pre-loved it will probably be one of the much older versions and i think it would have to also be like marking a pretty big thing you know like it would have to be something that i'm purchasing to mark and celebrate something major an achievement or something in my life but 
for right now i've put my chanel dreams on hold because i'm trying to be responsible and not just be out here splurging for the sake of splurging so i think that's something y'all need to remember like it's okay to have things that you love and you are okay spending money on and splurging on but i like to also be responsible about it and if it doesn't fit in my life right now, if it isn't something that makes sense for right now, then I'm okay letting it go and I will double back <laughs> once things are lined up a little bit more differently in my life. Anyway, that's my list of things that I feel I splurge the most on, but I'm curious to know what it is that you guys splurge on, what is like a non-negotiable for you where you are like, you know what? I have to have the best and therefore I'm willing to spend money on this that down in the comments let's engage let's discuss if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already subscribed become part of the green leaning Intelux family I enjoy having every single one of you guys here and I will see you on the next one